Welcome to Google SketchUp Symmetry Tools. Uh, we're going to be doing just a flat version, a 2D version of a symmetry drawing. To do that, we're going to go to Google SketchUp 7. It's on your desktop. Click twice. When you get to the windows, the Google SketchUp window, you're going to choose a template. You do not want to download the new version. The old version will work fine. Click on Choose Temple, Template. And then you'll scroll down until you see plain view feet and inches. Click on it one time and click on start using SketchUp. And the first thing you might want to do is save it. And then once you've saved it in your number folder, you're going to make sure the pencil tool is selected. You're going to go to the origin. The origin is where the green and red lines converge. And then you just draw a line out to the left. If I'm going to make mine about 12 inches. You can make yours approximate to that. Then we're going to rotate our line uh, 45 degrees. So you click on the rotate tool. The rotate tool has two red arrows that sort of go in a circle. I click on that rotate and you have this little thingamabob. I can't think of what you call it. It's not really a compass. I don't know. Anyways, you go to the origin point, you click one time. You go down to the end point and click one time. Then you're going to hit Control. Control will make a little plus sign come up. That means that you're going to copy that line rather than just rotate the original line. Type the, You've got your hand off the mouse. Type the number 45, then press Enter. That rotated your line 45 degrees. Go back to the pencil tool, and you, can, you don't have to follow my lead, just you need to make it into a closed figure. So I'm going to go out, back, out, back, out, back, and out, back. Now it's a closed figure. Then I'm going to make four more lines. You can make a few more, up to six, but don't make more than six because then it's going to get too complicated. Click and drag. You don't want to um, cross over your lines like this. You, you can go from here to here to here, but you don't want to cross over. So I'm going to go from here to here to here. Okay? I think that, well, I guess that counts as five lines, technically speaking. Then you're going to go to Windows, go to Materials. And you can use any of these materials that you want, but I'm just going to use colors, and I like bright colors, so I'm going to start with red, then I'm going to go black over here, and then I'm going to find some more bright colors. I think there's a nice pretty green here, and then I'm going to go find another bright blue, and then I'm going to find another color. Purple is always good. And then for my last one, I guess I'll use pink right there. Then you can get rid of your materials. You're going to take the select tool and make a box all the way around everything. Make sure the box edge does not touch your figure. Now you should have dots on that figure. That means everything in there is selected. Now there's 45 degrees. Um, that we made this, and how many 45 degrees are in a circle? There are eight. So I'm going to copy this. Um, I'm going to use my copy tool, just like I did before. I'm going to click on the origin. I'm going to go down to the end point and click. Take my hand off the mouse. Press Control so I have that plus sign. Type a 45 and hit Enter. Now I have two of them. So we want to copy them um, so that they're a complete circle. To do that, we don't have to keep doing it over and over. There's a method in Google SketchUp that will let you repeat what you've done. So we want to copy it seven times because we're counting the time that we just did it. So you type seven and then the letter X seven times and then enter. And voila! To get it all into the screen uh, so that you can see it all, there's a um, Zoom Extends right here. If you click Zoom Extends, then you can see it all. Beautiful, lovely. Then you'll want to save it. To save it, you're going to save it, File, Save, Export, and then export, 
export 2D graphic. I'm going to save it in uh, the desktop, but you need to save it in your number folder. And the, the desktop is here. And then you need to call it, um, you could say um, SIM1. Because you need to make a total of six of them. And then we're going to put those into PowerPoint. So go ahead and export it, and it exports as a ping. A ping is a type of picture. So you export it, and then you just start over, File, New, and you will want to save your changes, I would think. And I'll save that as Sim 1, and Save. That way, if you ever want to go back and change it, you can. Now, uh, that is number 1. Go to the uh, next one and we'll talk about components. Adios.